You would protect Social Security. This president believes the existential threat to Social Security of those who want to cut it. His budget says no. I, there's nobody in this committee that wants to cut it. I know of no Republican or Democrat in the House or the Senate who is proposing cutting Social Security benefits. And it's dishonest to keep saying it. It's offensive and dishonest and not realistic. We have a problem in Social Security. We need to address it. You agree we have a problem in Social Security. Make it clear, 1,000%, no Republican is proposing cutting Social Security benefits. Now, the question is, why have you not proposed in your budget any action to protect Social Security? Senator, I look forward to seeing plans that are very, no, no. Are very question, clear. The question is, why, why have you not proposed it? That those, why have you that not they made will a not cut Social Security. This president has put it in black and white. We look forward to seeing a plan. I, I, uh, that suggests that Social Security is off the table. This president believes the biggest threat to Social Security of those who want to cut it. His budget says no. You know, I, I really do find that a, a, a just offensive in the extreme, which is you can't name anyone who is proposing Social Security benefits. I, I have said, and I, I know my colleagues, no one is proposing cutting Social Security benefits for our Social Security recipients. No one is proposing that on our side. And you keep on saying that's the biggest threat. The biggest threat is in 10 years or so, the Social Security Trust Fund runs out of money and benefits get automatically cut by 25%. We don't want that to happen. I'm upset that the president hasn't included any effort to address that shortfall because I want to protect Social Security benefits for all of our recipients.